Okay, let's see if our brown pet mouse can squeeze through. He's in the wire funnel, but I don't think he can make it. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna explain how I made a huge mistake, which cost me a lot of money. The idea is the mouse enters right here, goes up the tunnel, through the funnel, and into the wire ball. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna test out a trap that I'm pretty sure is not a mouse trap. I bought this on eBay and it was advertised as a rare mouse trap, but after getting it, I'm pretty sure it's not designed to catch mice. I reached out to mouse trap collecting friends and opinions varied. A few collectors thought it was a trap for catching fish or maybe eels, but that's not right. The entrance is way too small. After some debate, we're pretty sure we figured out what animal this trap is supposed to catch. I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video, but if you think you know, leave a comment down below. And this isn't the first time I bought a trap on eBay that I thought was a mouse trap, but it ended up being something else. I'll show you some crazy examples later on. Some of them are pretty funny. But even though I don't think it's a mouse trap, we're still gonna test it out. We're gonna see if the mice go in there, try to get the bait, squeeze through that tiny hole and get caught. First, we'll test it out with our pet mice and then we'll set it up in the barn and try to catch some wild mice. Okay, let's see if our brown pet mouse can squeeze through. He's in the wire funnel, but I don't think he can make it. We'll open up the back flap here. It kind of looks like he's stuck. We'll see if we can get him out. Why do they have to poop everywhere? Gross. Well, clearly our pet mice are much too big to fit inside, but perhaps we might be able to catch a wild mouse in the barn. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, all night long, the mice tried to get the bait inside the trap. They climb on the wire, go up the funnel, but they couldn't fit inside. So it's not a mouse trap. But what animal is it designed to catch? Well, the answer came from a man named Dennis, who's part of the Mouse Trap Collecting Facebook page. He believes this trap is for catching a queen honeybee. Now we could be wrong, but after hearing the answer, it makes perfect sense. When a beekeeper thinks the hive is about to split and swarm, they can place the trap on the entrance. These holes right here are the right size for smaller worker bees to climb in and out. But when the larger queen emerges, she'll go up the funnel, through this tiny hole, and get caught in the cage. That way the beekeeper can start a new colony. And that would explain why the hole's too small for mice, but the right size for a queen bee. So if you pick queen bee trap in the comments down below, good job. And if you're convinced it's something else, let me know. Now I'm a pretty avid mouse trap collector, and it's not hard to understand why I got confused and thought this was an actual mouse trap. It's very similar to different mouse traps, especially wire mouse traps made in France. Here's a woven wire mouse trap with an entrance right here and a trap door. And here's another one that's very similar. It's half a dome the mouse climbs up, goes through this funnel right here and gets caught. So I think the same people that make this style of mouse traps also made a queen bee trap. Now this isn't the first time that I made a mistake and bought items that weren't actually mouse traps. Several years ago, I posted a video on what I thought was a mouse trap it was pretty clever, so I called it a MacGyver mouse trap because it's made from old junk. There's a spring hinge right here. We set it up and even caught a mouse when the door closed. Back here, there's a cage and a hole. But after posting that video, viewers told me what this actually was. It's known as a bee lining trap. 
You can catch a wild bee in here, mark it, it will fly away and come back. That will give you a direction and approximate distance of the hive and you can find a wild hive and capture it. So honeybee traps are pretty commonly confused for mouse traps. But after searching eBay for antique bee lining traps, some of them can be pretty valuable. Here's another item that was advertised as an antique mouse trap. I paid over $100 for it, but it's not a mouse trap. There's a spinning wheel back here for exercise and a cage in front. The way we figured out it wasn't a mouse trap is there's no way to catch a mouse, just a door. Instead, it's a cage for pet rodents. But there are very similar actual mouse traps. Here's one that has a spinning wheel, but it has a door for catching the mouse. Here we have another item I've seen advertised on eBay as an antique mouse trap. Be careful what you're bidding on. It says alligator on top, it's made out of metal, and it has jaws right here. It kind of looks like a mouse trap, and when it's advertised as a mouse trap, uninformed collectors pay way too much money for, even over $100. What this actually is, is a latch for a barn door. So you have to be careful. As a barn door latch, they're worth under $20. So you do have to be careful if you're buying something that's advertised as an antique mousetrap. Many things look like a mousetrap, but they're not. Here are some other items that were advertised on eBay as antique mousetraps. This looked like it could be a fruit jar mousetrap, but instead you fill the jar with chicken feed and feed baby chicks. And here's an item I don't know what it is. Two of these are mousetraps, a four hole choker mousetrap and a snap trap. But that other item's a mystery to me. If you know what this is, leave a comment down below it was advertised as a mousetrap, but clearly it's something else. And here's another item I've seen advertised as a mousetrap quite often, but it's really for holding files and papers, so buyer beware. But by far the most hilarious thing I've seen advertised as a mousetrap is this item. The seller called it an antique mousetrap from France, but on our mousetrap collecting Facebook page, we got quite a laugh out of it. It's actually a plastering machine. I feel bad for the sucker who paid $56 for it, thinking it was a mousetrap. Pretty funny. So even though I was the sucker on this one and accidentally bought a queen bee trap, it's still a cool item and I'm glad to have it. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. I also love seeing the photos of people's pet cats watching Mousetrap Mondays. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to learn about antique mousetraps, and see the best ways to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.